Hello and welcome to the storytelling module that will help you improve your English as you listen to and read a nice story. Do pay attention to the pronunciation and you may also learn a few new words. The Praying Hands Back in the 15th century, in a tiny village in Germany, lived the Jura family with 18 children. Yes, 18. Just to keep food on the table for this big family, the father, who was a goldsmith by profession, worked for almost 18 hours a day. He also took on any other paying job he could find in the neighborhood. Despite their hopeless condition, two of the older children, Albert and Albrecht, had a dream. They both wanted to pursue their talent for art, but they knew that their father would never be able to send them to study at the academy. After many long discussions at night, in their crowded bed, the two boys finally worked out a pact. They would toss a coin. The loser would go down into the nearby mines and with his earnings support his brother while he attended the academy. Then, when that brother who won the toss completed his studies in four years, he would support the other brother at the academy either with sales of his artwork or, if necessary, also by labouring in the mines. One Sunday morning after church, they tossed the coin that would determine their life's path. Albrecht Dürer, the younger brother, won the toss and went off to the academy. Albert went down into the dangerous mines and for the next four years supported his brother whose work at the academy was almost an immediate sensation. Albrecht's etchings, his woodcuts and his oil paintings were far better than those of most of his professors and by the time he graduated he was beginning to earn a considerable fees for his works. When the young artist returned to his village, the Jura family held a festive dinner on their lawn to celebrate Albrecht's homecoming. After a long and memorable meal filled with music and laughter, Albrecht rose from his honoured position at the head of the table to drink a toast to his beloved brother for the years of sacrifice that had enabled Albrecht to fulfil his ambition. His closing words were, And now, Albert, blessed brother of mine, now it is your turn. Now you can go to the academy to pursue your dream, and I will take care of you. All heads turned in eager expectation to the far end of the table where Albert sat, tears streaming down his pale face, shaking his lowered head from side to side as he sobbed and repeated over and over, No, 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 no. Finally, Albert rose and wiped the tears from his cheeks. He glanced down the long table at the faces he loved and then, holding his hands close to his right cheek, he said softly, No, brother, I cannot go to the academy. It's too late for me. Look what four years in the mines have done to my hands. The bones in every finger have been smashed at least once, and I cannot even hold a glass to return your toast, much less make art on canvas with a pen or a brush. No, brother, for me it is too late. More than five hundred years have passed. By now, Albrecht Jura's 
hundreds of masterful portraits, pen and silver point sketches, watercolors, charcoals, woodcuts and copper impressions hang in every great museum in the world. But most people are familiar with only one of Alfred Dürer's work. One day, to pay homage to his brother, Albert, for all that he had sacrificed, Albrecht Dürer painstakingly drew his brother's abused hands with palms together and thin fingers stretched skyward. He called his powerful drawing simply hands, but the world renamed his tribute of love as the praying hands. The next time you see a copy of that touching creation, take a second look. Let it be your reminder that no one, no one ever makes it alone. That was truly a heart-rending story, wasn't it? It is time to ponder or think. None of us make it alone in this world. There has surely been someone who has given something of themselves so that you may do well. Who played this major role in your life? Was it a parent or a family member? A friend? A teacher? a mentor or colleague at work. Please feel free to make a mention of the sacrifice of this person in the comments section. Well, I'm sure you learned some new words or had an opportunity to recollect the usage of certain known words to kindle your memory. Should we try and see what we learnt? Please pause and try to find the meanings of these new words that you may have learned or already know. To check and see how many you have correctly understood. To mention it in the comments. Were there any new words you learnt? Were there certain pronunciations that you corrected yourself for. If you got more than 15 correct, your English is good. If in case it was between 10 and 15, then go through these meanings again. However, if you receive below 10, please listen to the story again and learn well. Thank you. We hope you had fun learning and listening to this story. We conduct direct as well as online classes for French, German, spoken English and prepare students for IELTS as well. We wish you the very best in your endeavor to master the English language. Your learning is our goal. Have a great day. Thank you.